Uh, good afternoon, guys. Um, my name is Jay Choi, uh, which is from uh, I'm from the Hatch Labs in the Korean uh, development cr uh, company, and I'm glad to be here to meet guys and thank you for the invitation for the Korean development crew. So, uh, our per the first uh, uh, today I'm gonna present uh, going to be a presentation about the visit that we are developing as an open source. Which is which is for operating the smart contracts. So, so first, um, I'm going to talk about. I'm going to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jay Choi, and uh, I'm working at Hatch Labs as a software engineer. And the company is uh, company develops the middleware solution on the blockchain, uh, speci uh, specifically in EVM blockchain, so, uh, like query layer. And also audits for the smart contracts, and and I'm the I'm also became a vice president of the Decipher this semester, uh, yeah, uh, which is the blockchain research group of the Seoul National University. So yeah, then let's take a look with a contents of the short introduction of our visit. So. The first in, in introduction part, I'm gonna talk about the background to develop BZIP and in the introduction part, and and then uh, I'm gonna talk about the two main features in BZIP, which are which are development, uh, smart contract development, uh, deployment, and smart contract execution. At the end, um, I'm gonna share our current status and the roadmap of the BZIP. Yeah. Let's talk about the, inter uh, the background of the visit. Mm, in this, if you are here, you are uh, heard about the experience in directly or indirectly that uh, developing smart contract D app. And, and in my case, um, the developers around me uh, has always say uh, uh, in uh, they are they are deploying. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, developing a D, D app. They are we can divide it in four steps: uh, smart deploy, uh, deploy development, smart contracts, and testing them, and deployment and execution. We are going to talk about deployment and execution today. Around me, uh, some developers always says there are a lot of things to do. Deploy. To deploy and execution, execute. So uh, they have to learn about the library. Uh, they have to set up some com configuration, and uh, yeah. So there are a lot of things to do. So the Visib came out. So Visib is focusing on them simplify the operation cost. So uh, let's take up the look at the background. The contract. Uh, this uh, the deployment process and execution process are not so easy with some simple constructs which are consist of one or two contracts with a simple logic like token, crowd sale, or lottery. But time goes on. Uh, uh, many teams are now developing some large size of game, or they are trying to implement existing business on blockchain. So these are made up of many contracts and combined together, so it's complex. And developers say it's complicated, it has a op complicated operation. So the BZIP is focusing on simplify the operation process. The first we are talking about the deployment uh, process of the BZIP. And yeah, previous previously, Developers had to make long and complicated scripts to deploy their smart contract like Truffle or F3 using UF3. So uh, there, there exists learning curve of the, about these library like Web3 or Truffle and they and developing their scripts, they have to consider about the order of the con contracts to deployment, deploy. So uh, also uh, they, if after the deploying the contract, they have to uh, they have to handle the addresses uh, like save a copy and save 
these addresses in the file. So it's, uh, it's too annoying. And, and if the construct have to be initialized, they have to, they have to write all additional scripts to initialize them. So visit, uh, so visit. We are uh, we adopt declar declarative approach to simplify these kinds of things. So uh, in deployment uh, side, the important things are what to the targets to deploy and uh, relations between the constructs, not the deployment process. So developers just to declare the information about the target contract uh, as a JSON file like this example file. So this example file says that we are going to deploy hatchy.so or and hatchygym.so to contract. And then, vis and then utilizing visib, they can deploy all the contract in JSON file with a single command line. So uh, then, Visib does two things. Uh, first thing is the they uh, it defines the uh, it determines the order of the contract to deploy, and and then they compile all the contracts and deploy automatically. So it's the output, uh, yeah, with Visib deploy service. And then, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and it's. And it's the deployment feature of the VZIP, and you can simply deploy all constructs with a JSON single JSON file. And then I'm gonna talk about the execution side of the VZIP. Previously, developer had to create such a long script in order to call one function. This is the example code that that utilizing Web3 JS and Ethereum TX. It's is it's just for calling just one function. So as you know, it's too long. So Visib tries to enable the to call function in a single command line simply. So Visib console it uh, it shows like like this screen that it uh, it shows the list of the contracts and the addresses of the contracts. And you can just call functions as simply like the call, the contract name, and the contract function, the name of the function, and the arguments of the uh, arguments of the functions. Then you can simply call the functions at the deployed country. And then the Visib console will uh, will show the transaction reset that that it that this call has been successed. Yeah, and it was the execution side of the VZIP, and I'm gonna sh share the current stages of the VZIP and the roadmap of the VZIP. Uh, we are working on the open source at GitHub, and this the first link is the VZIP link, and second link is the simple repository, uh, sample repository that utilizing VZIP. So, uh, so please uh, press the star. Then it, this, these are medium uh, medium articles that written in English. You can you can read so whole things about Visit. So now we are going to develop that kinds of deployment uh, process and execution process as a GUI to make developer uh, easy to deploy and execute. And also we are going to adopt some CI CD tool like uh, integrating mysterial truffle cover soul coverage kind of things to and this CI CD tool uh, we are going to make a dashboard to show this kind of processes yeah and it was the brief introduction of the visa we are developing and yeah it is the end of the presentation thank you Any question? Yeah. Thank you. You show that you will 
have some integration with CI CD of Truffle, for example, but do you consider considering to integrate it with the uh, Web3 interfaces, like with Truffle team have Drizzle, uh, you know, Argon is DK or something like this? Uh, any interest to this direction? Yeah, we are we are interested in these kind uh, that kinds of uh, things also, but um, I think the main feature is, is the dashboard of the whole whole things that uh, we are going to um, integrate Mistrial, and uh, there are some steps that uh, integrating those kinds of things first is verify the contract with Mistrial and testing their uh, test codes and show the coverage and and then. Uh, we can also, uh, and again, we can also show the coverage and uh, all status of the uh, things in one dashboard. So it is, uh, yeah, we are looking at those kinds of truffle or drizzle, and uh, we are going to uh, build some mm, differences between them. Yeah. Thanks. Do you, do you guys have a, a, a mind to implement the same thing to other blockchain providers as well, as well such as this Polkadot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> first, uh, it is based on, uh, first, first, BCB is based on EVM, uh, uh, it, on Ethereum, so it is easy to connect with EVM-based blockchain like in, in Korea, like Platino or other things, and, and then, uh, yeah, we are also uh, interested in Polkadot or like Cosmos uh, that uh, they are, if they are main at this table, like, yeah. Uh, we are also interested, in, yeah. And do you guys uh, need an open source contributor for that? Or developers? Are you looking for developers to make that stuff? Uh, sorry? Are you guys looking for developers to make those stuff? Like for other blockchain providers as well? Lo loafers? Yeah, like making this for Polkadot or Cosmos. Are you guys looking for those developers? Um, yeah, we have planned, but not yet. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.